in the club colours of Essendon Athletics. And the boys getting ready now for the men's high jump. And Lynchy, we, we've seen some great battles in the past few weeks and some great high jumpers. And tonight should be a fantastic showdown. Yeah, I reckon uh, a bit of a... Look at those tall timbers. You can see... Uh, those fluoro singlets in the middle there, Brandon Stark and Liam Zamel Payers. Zamel Payers with a PB of 229. Former Australian now jumping for Ireland. Nick Boych in the purple on the end, 228. And Brandon Stark, 2 metres 30. Oh, it's going to be an absolute blinder in the high jump. We see there, here it is, the starting lineup for your men's high jump, the final of the 93rd Australian Athletics Championship. The 230 man, Brandon Stark from New South Wales, the big, lanky Commonwealth Games representative, Nick Voyage from Queensland. Tyra Omata from Japan. Our Queensland Irish competitor, Liam Zamel Payers, who's been a national champion in the past. From Victoria, Chris Armet. Thomas Brennan from WA, Joel Mason from Tasmania, and the Papua New Guinean is Richard Peniel. Joining us very shortly, a man who no doubt wishes he was out there shortly in the 100 metres. It's Tom Gamble. We'll get him in shortly to give us some of his... Uh... I just want to ask Lynchy a very quick question. Lynchy, am I seeing the back of Nick Maroney down there? Yeah, Nick Maroney is down there. Yeah, he wasn't in the starting list, but it uh, looks like Nick Maroney. He's a former national champion. I think he's jumped to 10 or more for the last 25 seasons. Yeah, I think since 1991, he's cleared 2 metres 10. He's uh, pushing 43, I think he is, this year. So good to see him still alive and kicking. And can push some quick times. They're all in good form. The hands in the air was... It was because he pulled up too late. <laughs> He's like, why did I run 60 metres? I meant to run 50 metres. Yep. And the next event on the track, or the second semi-final, which is going to be a cracker. We're going to see the Fijian on the track. Looking forward to seeing him, the flying Fijian. And we've got the Papua New Guinea on the runway in the men's high jump. Great to see the island nations here getting involved in the Australian Championships and um, a few of them lining up in this. Uh, we've got a Fijian in the second semi-final. Also a visitor from Japan. <laughs> well, either way, any, anything that does have, I, I think Jin might have been close to his PBs. PBs 1040. Um, I think he might have touched that up as well. Yeah, a few of those boys really competitive. And here's Moroni in the high jump. Just not quite clear at the height of two metres. And the boys warming up for our third semi-final. And Tommy Gamble... Um, Next season, mate, if you were sort of assessed where uh, where things are going to go, what's the plan from here now that you, once you're over your injury? Uh, well, World University Games is this year in uh, Guangzhou uh, Korea. Where? So, Guangzhou. I hope that's correct pronunciation. So, right, mate. We all mispronounce things every now and then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, good, I've mate. got a couple of qualifiers for that. Um, so, I hope... See here, Nick Maroney, all skinny and bony, got the... Ankle brace on the left ankle there. This is his second attempt at 2.05. His PB, 2.25. We may get to see it. See there the girls in the shot put. Have to get things underway. It's the first round at the moment. There's Jackson from South Australia. All right, and uh, Tommy. Racing here at the national championships against the Abelboard guys. Um, that was pretty much the goal of the season, and I qualified early at the Canberra Track Classic, running 10.80. that make it around the one lap because it's one of the most difficult things I've had to do in my life. It's madness, that's for sure. Mate, um, five Paralympic goals. 
You set world records in the 100 and 200 in Beijing and London. What more is there to achieve, mate? Like, what motivates you? Uh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I'm full of interesting questions, yeah, no. mate. <laughs> uh, I think basically just to repeat that, um, hopefully they'll put my 200 in the program in Rio. It's just a little bit, they're, they're not quite sure what's going to be in the program at the moment because they're trying to increase um, female participation in Paralympic sport, which is great, but just at the expense of one of my events. So uh, depending on whether they have the 100 and the 200, I'll try and repeat with uh, a world record in both again. So keep my 100% record. Intact. And you were striving to run here this season. You went under the 1080, was that right? Yeah. Around here on the right, we have Nick Baroni. This is his third attempt at 210. And the bar's at 4 metres 35 in the women's pole vault. We see the American having a crack. Not quite clear. She jumped yeah. a 453 this year indoors. That's pretty big. And That's up went, there with Nina Kennedy. Yeah, I think she went 440 last week at the Melbourne IAAF. I could be wrong. I've been wrong. Event seven. Are there any other events you're really looking forward to? Well, tonight the 800 will be great, and uh, I also want to. Re I'm also keen to see who can take out the men's 100 metres. Obviously, being my event, and looking for those boys to be pushing. Well, it's looking for those boys to be pushing me. Well, chasing them really. But, um, <laughs> no, mate. Don't talk yourself but, down. Uh, and then I hope. Definitely is really different. I had. A, I struggled a couple. Every now and then I'd get a good race in, but I really struggled to uh, get the feeling of being behind. I generally run in front and it's easy. I can just concentrate on what I'm doing, uh, fix my technique and really think about it. Whereas when I'm running against the boys, it's almost like I've got speed wobbles. They go past me so fast. High jump in West Australian is clear at 2 metres 15. So going, going back to there, we were just talking, Evan, about, you know, not used to uh, being in, like, not being in front kind of thing. That's obviously got to be a really good thing for you in your international competition if you start to come up against guys who are as quick as you as well. Yeah, that was the aim, to be out there and get some really good competition from the able bod boys so that if it does happen when I'm in an international race, because in Paralympic sport, we generally have people coming out of the woodwork at major events where we've never seen them before and they can be hot, really hot stuff. Like, you know, they can be breaking world records, uh, as we've seen a couple, in a couple of the events here at Nationals with some of the young girls and some of the young boys as well. So it's really good just to have that in the, in the pocket so that in case there, there is that chance that someone's in front of me, I can run through them, hopefully. Well, we wish you all the best with that. For us, we see Nick Boyic at 2.15 at the bar, clipping with the uh, feet. He is the tallest man in athletics, so he tells us. And we're not too far away from the men's 100 metre ambulance event. Plenty of action coming up. It's sizzling Sunday, that's for sure, and plenty, plenty going on on Twitter, which we'll get to in a moment as well. And we'll Old age of 25, and we open Superfine Cafe. So basically, I do nothing. I'm just a quality assurance officer. I go in there and check that it tastes good. Good stuff, Ev. And uh, if you're ever in Canberra, have a look. And Brennan Stark having a crack at 2:15. Not quite clear. That's his second attempt. Have your coffee, Ev. Uh, <laughs> it changes every day. Um, I just get the spares, basically. Oh, really? Yeah, but if you know, if you're coming into my cafe, not that I have one, well, uh, how would you? Be short blacks all the way. As, long as, as long as you're serving quality, mate. What about this, Matt Lynch, uh, our co-commentator? That cost him at the end. Brandon Stark, third attempt, 2:15. Oh. Thank God, he's clear. What a Relief for Brandon Stark. If he'd gone out then, he would have been very disappointed, particularly after clearing 2.30, but he's clear. And um, Gab Cole took the win.
a top bloke, a good 800 metre runner in his day, and uh, no doubt he'll want to see his brother have a top run in the 800 metres tonight. Aragato, Tom Rowe. Next event on the track, we have got the 100 metres ambulant women final. That's going to be a interesting battle. And Brennan Stark is clear at 2 minutes 20, first attempt. Had three cracks at 2.15, then goes clear first time at 2 minutes 20. That's what we want to see. And for those watching, the bar is at 4 metres 50 in the women's pole vault. And the women's jab throws up. Athletics club here on the stream, would you say, Ollie? I think that's a <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> call. So Evan's going, what's going on here? Ollie just. Evan's got a soft moment. spot for Omac. He knows all about it. So <laughs> we don't need. <laughs> he's on board. But um, no, nah, look, a lot of good clubs in Melbourne. I'd probably say the Melbourne club system. We're talking about it today over a coffee, boys. Okay, and, mate. Okay. No, nah, I'm just saying, no, in no, general, no. the done. club system in Melbourne, there are a lot of passionate people with the clubs, whether it be the old boys clubs or clubs like Essendon. Being an ACT Glenn registered Huntley. athlete. I'm going to have to disagree with you. Oh, For a small state, we punch above our weight. The ACT, and how good was the Camera Track Classic? It was good, and look, early qualifiers were at the Camera Track Classic. It was a great event. It certainly was, and I'll be uh, looking forward to going back there next year because, for me, that was the highlight in terms of performances, and the local crowd really got behind it, and it was great to see so many Canberrans getting behind the locals. But, um, yeah, it's great to see club athletics alive and well in Australia, and um, certainly it's going well in Victoria and also the ACTs, Evan has informed us. For those at home, the bar... Um, she's turned up the win, Alana Boyd, and um, all but booked her spot to China. So here's Thomas Brennan, third attempt at 2.20, men's high jump. No, too close to that post, and that's it. His night is over, and great stuff there. From from Western Australia, Tom Brennan, and uh, the pole vault, as we said, still continuing to rise here, the girls. Alana Boyd will have her first attempt at 4.60. And, uh, and Evan, mate, it has been sensational to have you here, buddy. Really appreciate your time and uh, all the best in the, uh, the future, and we'll have you back on the stream at some stage for sure. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, gives me something to do while I'm up here feeling sorry for myself not being able to race. So, yeah, bit of a bit of a light in the in the dark there. So, thanks for having me. No worries. Thanks, Ev. You're a legend. All the best. Evan O'Hanlon, five-time Paralympic gold medalist. If I was to tell you every other thing he's won, we'd be here till 10 o'clock tonight. He's a gun. He's run bloody quick over the 100 and 200 and a solid 400 as well. And not to mention he's a top bloke. So, got the, the whole round package. And uh, we've got some good athletics. You can see Brandon Stark there composing himself and trying to get himself clear. The bars are 2 metres 25. We're getting into that territory again, Mossy, and let's see if he can edge closer towards that 2 metre 30. We saw him jump the other night in uh, in Sydney. It'd be great to see him clear at 2 metres 25 and in, uh, in that territory again. And I think we've lost Lynchy officially. He's nowhere to be found. Where is he? From New Zealand, Amanda Murphy. And uh, the special guests aren't stopping. They're pouring in tonight. We've, we've had Tommy Gamble. We've had Jake Steen. Great to have Evan O'Hanlon and uh, Mossy. Got another guest joining us very shortly, if not now. Yeah, we do. In fact, we do have a very special guest who is trackside. It's Matt Lynch. G'day, Lynchy. Great to have you uh, back on the stream, mate. Yeah, no, it's good to be back. <laughs> I, after seeing all those hundreds, I got a little bit excited and thought I'd better do some training. I've been running up and down the stairs. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling good now. Everything's holding up. Maybe my comeback will be uh, 2016 Nationals. And for those at home, the women's oh, javelin. Oh, yes. oh, clear at 225. Woo. That's what we want to see. So here's Thomas Brennan. Third attempt at 220. Men's high jump. No, too close to that post. And that's it. His night is over. And great stuff there. From from Western Australia, Tom Brennan and uh, the pole vault, as we said, still continuing to rise here, the girls. Alana Boyd will have her first attempt at 4.60. And, uh, and Evan, 
mate. It has been sensational to have you here, buddy. Really appreciate your time and uh, all the best in the uh, the future. And we'll have you back on the stream at some stage for sure. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, gives me something to do while I'm up here feeling sorry for myself not being able to race. So, yeah, bit of a bit of a light in the in the dark there. So, thanks for having me. No worries. Thanks, Ev. You're a legend. All the best. Evan O'Hanlon, five-time Paralympic gold medalist. If I was to tell you every other thing he's won, we'd be here till 10 o'clock tonight. He's a gun. He's run bloody quick over the 100 and 200 and a solid 400 as well. And not to mention he's a top bloke. So, got the, the whole round package. And uh, we've got some good athletics. You can see Brandon Stark there composing himself and trying to get himself clear. The bars are 2 metres 25. We're getting into that territory again, Mossy, and let's see if he can edge closer towards that 2 metre 30. We saw him jump the other night in uh, in Sydney. It'd be great to see him clear at 2 metres 25 and in, uh, in that territory again. And I think we've lost Lynchy officially. He's nowhere to be found. Where is he? From New Zealand, Amanda Murphy. And uh, the special guests aren't stopping. They're pouring in tonight. We've, we've had Tommy Gamble. We've had Jake Steen. Great to have Evan O'Hanlon and uh, Mossy. Got another guest joining us very shortly, if not now. Yeah, we do. In fact, we do have a very special guest who is trackside. It's Matt Lynch. G'day, Lynchy. Great to have you uh, back on the stream, mate. Yeah, no, it's good to be back. <laughs> I, after seeing all those hunters, I got a little bit excited and thought I'd better do some training. I've been running up and down the stairs. So uh, I'm, I'm feeling good now. Everything's holding up. Maybe my comeback will be uh, 2016 Nationals. And for those at home, the women's oh, javelin. Oh, yes. oh, clear at 2.25. Woo. On the athletes, of course, it's going to be great to see the likes of Kim Mickle and Kelsey Lee throwing. And, of course, the South African having a throw in the in the javelin. And uh, That's unfortunately, right. the South African so close to that Cricket World Cup final. It's going to be a cracker tomorrow, Australia and New Zealand. I'll rub it in. Very, very good. And this is definitely the hours of power, the next two hours. We've got the men's 50, men's 800 coming up very shortly. And straight after that will be the women's 1500. This is going to be sensational. Liam zamil Payers at the bar and not getting over that one at 2.25. And here's the... Races. Absolutely, and I know you're good friends with Zoe Buckman in the 15. Would you say she's got to be the favourite, I guess? I, I'd say so, yeah. ...of Saints Athletics Club. Brandon Stark about to have a crack in the men's high jump at 228. He's not clear in the men's... He's got an attempt here. Oh, oh he's clear! He's done yes! It. yes. yes. Sorry for the noise there, guys. I'm going up in the red in the volume, but that was an excellent jump. Third attempt at 228. He's got another qualifier for back. So, it's, you know, it's just really good to be, be here and running nationals. But um, if they've got the capabilities, and they do, to get the time, um, they could get picked for world champs. You see there, Brandon Stark. So is this his first attempt at a PB 232? So Brandon Stark, you go and have a chat to, no, having a tap on the Adidas sign there. He knows that's good luck, Ollie. Yeah, we, great to see Stark have a crack at this two metres 32. And uh, Kelsey Lee had her first throw in the women's jab, getting it out around 47, 40 off the top of my head. So we'll, we'll let you know as that progresses. Kim Mickles in her track suit at the moment. And Brandon Stark having a crack at 2 metres 32. This would be absolutely massive. Here he goes. Oh, that's close. For a PB, looking good there. Whoa. Uh, 
um, Bright, Brady Delaney and Kayla McKnight. Starkey. Starkey. Two metres 32. Not quite clear, unfortunately. Can he clear two metres 32? We've got the split screen. Brandon Stark. Oh. Not quite clear.